In our reception, we are going to have our guests walk in and immediately see our Arabian bank on the left-hand side of the festival entrance. Here's a sketch of how we are picturing our bank. We really want to emphasize a deep purple and teal archway. At the bank, our guests will pick up their Arabian coins in order to purchase items in the market along with their registration receipt with their table number on it. We want to have a mirroring purple and teal archway on the right-hand side of the festival entrance for our coat check. As our guests enter the market, they will see our Arabian sunset along the festival windows. We are going for a layering effect with red, orange, yellow, pink, and purple gossamer, with buildings outlining the skyline. We are going to have six vendor tables outlining the festival hallway with two food stations, one drink station, and three other vendor tables with artifacts that Lindsay's grandfather has collected from his travels. We also really like the look of these baskets and want to incorporate these throughout our market. We are going to create a tent-like formation along the ceiling of our market with tan or gold gossamer, and we are going to hang tissue-flowered lanterns and hanging lights inside of the tent. We are also going to have street performers playing inside of the market to create that hustle-bustle sort of sound. We are going to have a Moroccan mint tea at our drink station, and some of the foods included at our vendor tables will be sambusak, falafel with tzatziki sauce, zucchini fritters, and we will have baba ganoush at our action station. We want to incorporate another tent-like formation such as the ones in these pictures. We really like the pillowy enclosed aspect of these draperies. We are seeing a rich dark purple and black as our two draping colors, and we are only taking inspiration for the drapery from these pictures. We are not taking color schemes. We are going to have lanterns hanging throughout the drapery in our dining room. We have found many do-it-yourself ways of creating lanterns with tissue paper. We also want to make our dining experience unique and memorable by having four lower tables, like the picture on the left-hand side with colored lanterns and black tables, surrounding our center stage that we will have in the festival ballroom. The rest of the tables will be of normal height behind the lower tables. We are going to have four sections of tables, so we are thinking of having different colored linens to represent each section. We want a lot of vibrant colors, so we are thinking red, a deep royal purple, a teal blue, and gold. We are going to use gold chargers with fan-fold napkins, and as for the centerpieces on the lower tables, we want hookahs on each table with a mirror underneath the hookah with flowers coming out of the hookah and sheer ribbon, jewels, and votives surrounding the hookahs. For the centerpieces for the regular sized tables, we want to make lanterns out of mason jars and have a small cluster of two to three of them on top of a mirror with a bigger lantern in the middle with votives and jewels. For our entertainment, we are working on having an a cappella group perform a mashup of traditional Arabian music along with the familiar song, Arabian Nights. We also want belly dancers from JMU's Belly Dancers Club to perform. We want to make sure we utilize every space of the dining room, so we want to have a lounge area for our guests. In another corner, we want to create an Arabian wardrobe. And now for the best part, the food. We want to start off with a basara fava bean soup. We will then have a peppery bulgur salad. And for the main course, we will have a Middle Eastern chicken kebab, as well as a tayon de lejeune with Middle Eastern flavoring. And to end our dinner, we will have a dessert trio with almond pastries and honey syrup, orange pudding, and pistachio stuffed dates. <laughs>